Welcome fellow recovering traditionalists to episode 168, Use Math Manipulatives No Matter the Age. Welcome to Build Math Minds, the podcast, where fidelity to your students is greater than fidelity to your textbook. I'm your host, Christina Tonnevold, the Recovering Traditionalist and BuildMathMinds.com founder, where my mission is to change the way we teach elementary math to our kiddos. So are you ready to start building math minds and not just creating calculators? Let's get started. Before we get into the episode, this week's positivity comes from an end of course paper that was turned in when this participant finished my online course for teachers, the flexibility formula. There was just so much in this paper that I loved reading and even made me tear up. So here it all is, but I'm gonna talk about the highlighted parts. So she said, as a teacher for over 30 years, most of which was closely tied to textbooks, I know I have some bad habits to break. Don't we all? Let me just say that. I have often lamented the lack of number sense, me too, but now, now I have practical procedures and visuals to use. Thank you for so many resources. Having resources for the math talks and other ideas is so beneficial. Now this is the part that made me tear up. I pray I will not be the same teacher I was before taking this course. I want more for my students. That last part got to me. I remember when I started learning more about how children actually learn math compared to how I was teaching it, and I felt horrible for my former students. I was doing my best, but I just didn't know how to help them. If you are looking to learn more about how students develop their number sense and fluency with numbers, I'll be opening up registration to the flexibility formula soon. We have some special gifts to, that go out to people who enroll early, but the only way to get that link to enroll early is to be on the wait list for the courses. You can go to buildmathminds.com slash courses, then click on the link of the course you're interested in to learn more and join the wait list. Or go to the show notes, which is buildmathminds.com slash 168 for this episode, and I'll have each course, the K2 and the 3.5 linked up for you. Now, those special gifts that you can get if you enroll early are some of my favorite math manipulatives, the Wreck and Wreck for K2 and Blank Fraction Tiles for 3 through 5. I'm a huge fan of using manipulatives no matter what grade level. I wasn't always that way though. As you all know, I'm a recovering traditionalist, so I used to be the traditional type of teacher where I just had students learn the procedures and then practice them over and over and over again. One of the books that I credit for changing my thinking is actually a series of books. Teaching Student-Centered Mathematics by John Vandewall and Friends is a must-have for any math educator. We're gonna take a look at the 3-5 book today, but this information is also in the pre-K to second and the sixth through eighth grade books. On page 23, they show this graphic that depicts the different ways to demonstrate mathematical understanding. And I also think that these ways help build mathematical understanding. It's not just to demonstrate, but these things help you build mathematical understanding. In the video for this episode, you can see the visual. Remember, you can just go to youtube.com slash buildmathminds. But basically the ways are give a context, explain meaning in words, illustrate with physical tools manipulatives, write using symbols, draw a diagram, display data in a table, and create a graph. Now the last two I feel like are only applicable to specific types of math situations, but the first four really should be done all the time. However, typically, the use of manipulatives starts to diminish as kids get older, and instead we start to increase the use of just writing symbols. Kids need all four, no matter their age. On page 24 through 25, they give us some information about the use of manipulatives and representations. So it says, let's turn to one kind of representation that is commonly used to support students' learning of mathematics manipulatives or concrete objects. Anytime a concept is new, regardless of the age of students, manipulatives can help make the concept visual, concrete, 
and connected to other ideas students have learned. Used wisely, they can be a positive factor in students' learning. Only using manipulatives, however, particularly in a rote manner, does not ensure that students will understand. It is important to consider how manipulatives can help or fail to help students construct mathematical knowledge. First of all, ma manipulatives alone have no inherent meaning. A person has to impose meaning on them. The manipulative is not the concept. They go on to say that second, the most widespread misuse of manipulatives occurs when teachers tell students, do exactly as I do. There is a natural temptation to get out the materials and show students exactly how to use them. Students mimic the teacher's directions and it may even look as if they understand, but they could be just following what they see. A rote procedure with a manipulative is still just that, a rote procedure. A third and related misuse of manipulatives occurs when teachers always tells students which manipulatives to use for a given problem. Students need opportunities to choose their own representations to use when reasoning through a problem. See Mathematical Practice 5, Use Appropriate Tools Strategically, and when communicating their ideas to others. So, no matter the grade level, let your students use manipulatives without it being seen as the math concept. For example, using a rec and rec is not a strategy to practice. It's just a tool kids use to model their thinking. And they need to be using manipulatives without us telling them specifically how and when to use them. Manipulatives should be always available and kids should know they can use them how they'd like and when they'd like. So until next week, my fellow recovering traditionalists, keep building math minds.